Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today is getting late, and I was thinking I really should be doing my video. I was watching a video instead of doing my video, but as I'm watching, I'm thinking I should be doing this. Then I sit down, or actually I turn the TV off because I Chromecast everybody to the television. And as soon as I turn the TV off, the dog runs into his little house. He knows it's time for me to get the camera. And it's also funny because when I go to get my um, purse, he goes into his house because he thinks I'm going somewhere. Well, I had Jim put gas in my car because my car was getting a little low. And I said, maybe he should put some gas in so that I don't have to stop at another station. See, if he puts the gas in, I get five cents, gets it, get it for five cents less. Then if I go to the station that would pump it in for me, I would pay regular price, but I don't have to pump it. They pump it for me. And then when I sat down, I said, well, let's see what's in my head today. And he smiles because who knows what's in my head today. I do have a few things that I did today. I did get up early and I went to the gym. This, I guess that's going to be my theme every now and then. Uh, well, pretty much right now until I decide I'm not going anymore. But I went to the gym and because it was aerobics day, they want you to get there a little bit earlier so that you can get your step aerobic box. There's a step aerobic thing that you use. I don't know. It's a step, I guess, just plain step. Then you get your heavy weight, your light weight, your um, stretchy cord. And today we were using the bar where you lift the dumbbell bars, I guess they would call them. I don't know what they're, no, what, that big bar. I don't know what barbell. that barbell, yeah, something that we had to use, but it was supposed to be with a very light weight on it. And we did the aerobics, and then we did the weightlifting because this is, I guess, weightlifting month. Month for everybody should be lifting some kind of weight, so maybe you should get your little jars of or bottles of or cans or whatever you have, and just do a few reps of something with the weights because it's a it's I guess it's weight lifting month and so everybody laid down except for me because I can't lay down I will end up sick so she she gave me some how I was supposed to do the exercise with those um, dumbbells and actually my when you do the sitting form it's a lot harder than if you were laying on your back because when you're laying on your back you have gravity working towards um, bringing the the because you'd be laying on your back and lifting up straight and then you'd bring it down. And it's easier to do that than it is to go out straight, tip and bring in. Because you're still holding it from dropping down in any way. So you're doing it all right there. And then you tip and bring in. Push out, tip, tip, whatever. I don't remember. Anyways, we did something where you tipped it and brought it back in. And um, then I came home, oh no, before I came home, I went to the, I went to check on internet. I decided I'm going to do this myself because I just want it done. <laughs> so I guess I better do it myself. <laughs> he raises his eyebrows. He was going to do it today, but I beat, I, I beat him to it. I went to the store that has it. We have a, a, a Spectrum store. So rather than just calling and getting whatever and being on hold for an hour again, I went to the store and the lady that was there, she was a very nice lady. I told her I was a YouTuber. She may be watching, so I'll say, hi, you did an excellent job. You were, she was training another girl at the time. And um, then she was waiting on me besides and then people started to come and I'm glad she was able to get mine done so that she could help the other girl that was the trainee learning the, the ropes of the internet and cable. But anyways, I will be getting cable on the 17th. Now, Jim didn't understand the, I can't believe he didn't understand this. He's so smart, but he didn't understand this. He had in his head that he didn't know that, now you're all gonna think this is crazy, he didn't know that SSI was different than Social Security. And I said, well, SSI is for disability. I don't have a dis I'm not disabled. 
Well, if we would have had a child in the house that was getting the school lunches, we would have qualified for the cheaper internet, but because we don't. And I said, well, maybe I should do foster care again, and, but no, it's a little, I'm not, I'm not set up to do that. That would interfere with my going anywhere again, I would, and that would be very hard, so I'm not going to do that. But anyways, I did get the internet, and it's going to be $49.99 for one year. Then after that year, per then month. It, per month, yeah, of course, per month. <laughs> well, well that like would be, it was be for the full year. no, not for the full year. It's forty nine ninety nine each month. I think I've got it correct now. Mm. Okay, and then it's going to go up to seventy ninety nine, and we also got the phone, which was nine ninety nine. Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of my landline. It's gonna be a different. It's gonna be through the cable. And so, at the end of that year, my bill will be $81 when it goes up after the year. So in the meantime, it's going to be $49.99 plus the $9.99 for a year, because and then it will then the internet will go up, but the phone will stay the same. So that's going to be put in on the 17th. So I said to Jim, I said, you're going to have to be here because otherwise I will just say I want it in the ground and I don't know, he would probably drill a hole in my floor and Jim doesn't want him to drill a hole in my floor. He will continue to do whatever it is that needs to, to be done after their installation of stuff because he always does. And I was also watching, now this, this brought a story to my mind. Um, I was watching, I, I don't know how to say the last part of it, but the first part was Lily Gazoo, G A Z O U, Gazoo. She was um, talking about Jack's, and they were going to go on a trip, and so she was going to say the rosary in the car. Well, you know, when I was growing up, we said the rosary after our supper every day during the week, and on the weekends, we said it right after dinner because we ate a, a big dinner on the weekends. And we knew how exactly, it used to take exactly 12 minutes to say that rosary. Because as kids, it was forever it felt like, but we timed it, it's only 12 minutes. Well, one day we were going for a ride, and whenever we rode in the car with my mom, we would always say the rosary. So this one, and we'd get the rosary beads out, and we'd be counting the beads so that we would know where we, which mystery we were on and which group of 10 we were on. And this one time, we didn't feel like getting the rosary beads out, so we said we'd use our fingers. So my mom is going from our house to, she was going to Dunkirk is where she was going, okay. From our house to Dunkirk. And the speed limit in Dunkirk is, I think, 30? 35. No, I think theirs is 30. Theirs is 30. Theirs is lower. And um, she was going like, 35 all the way from our house, which the speed limit was really 55 from our house or 50 at the time maybe. I don't know what it was a long time ago. They've raised the speed limit up. It used to be 50 at one time and then they made it 55, which everybody thought was just so fast. Anyways, we were saying the rosary and she was going that speed all the way from home. Well, when we get into the Dunkirk city limits where the speed limit is now 30, my mom gets pulled over by the police. And he says, do you know how fast you're going? She goes, well, I've been going the speed all the way from home, which is about eight miles ago. And he said, um, well, your speed, you're going too fast. You're going um, 45 or something like that in a 30 mile speed zone. And she goes, well, we were saying the rosary. And he looked at her. None of us had the rosary beads out. And he looked at her and he says, well, could you please say the rosary at home and not in the car? So she said that, okay, but you know what? We always said the rosary in the car. It didn't stop her, but she did kind of watch her speed when she entered Dunkirk for sure because it was that's where the police were always watching, this one little section. It was like the speed limit would be 45, and then it would drop instantly to 30, and I think she just, and it's very short distance, extremely short distance from where the one sign is to the other sign. So she made sure she went even slower from our house 
which is not good, all the way to Dunkirk, and she was going the speed limit of Dunkirk. So all the cars behind us were passing. It was, it was kind of more dangerous to go that slow, I think, than it would have been to go the regular speed. But, and another time, this, this brings another memory of my mom. My mom was, you know, she was, she was a church-going lady. And every morning she would get up early and she would go to church. And it didn't matter what town it was, she would go to Mass every day. Well, this one time she got to the railroad tracks. It's on our road. And she got to the railroad tracks and a train was going by and this train was an extremely long train. So when my mom would get to the tracks, she always turned the engine off because it wastes gas to sit there and idle. So she would turn the engine off and she would wait. Well, this train was really, really, really long and she fell asleep. And um, the neighbor that's house is right there saw this lady in the car and wondered, oh no, what happened? Did she die or something? So he called the police and the police came over and knocked on her window and she opens up her eyes and she goes, can I help you? And he said, are you lost? And she goes, no, I'm on my way home. And he says, where do you live? And she said, just up the road. And so he said, well, you better go home and maybe you better lay down because you were sleeping. And she goes, oh my goodness, that train, I must have fallen asleep watching the train. So that's what she she did. That was, that was sad. And it got worse as time. As she got older, it got worse. She'd forget how to turn the car on or she'd forget how to turn the car off. It was getting bad. So then um, I'll go into how she stopped driving because there might be some of you out there that really shouldn't be on the road. My father gave up his license when he moved in with us and he was 90, 90 or 91, 90, I think, 90. He said he didn't want to drive anymore when he came here. And the reason, and the reason he gave is he said, when they put me on hold and I forget what I'm calling them about, I shouldn't be on the road ride driving. So he gave up his license willingly. He, he didn't, ha he didn't um, drive. He had the license if he had to, but he never drove again in the four years that he was here. And um, my mother, she was driving so slow, all the time so slow. She had actually turned so slow out of her road that a car hit her. And so she went to the, I had to take him to court, take her to court. This was a while back. And I took her to court and the judge said that he will give her a parking ticket, but she is never to turn left again out of a road. She had to turn right only. And so because she went to church every day, she meant, that meant she had to go the opposite direction out of our driveway. She had to turn left and then right. she, she would go to route five. Wait a minute, she was never to cross the road again. But she would cross the road out of our driveway. She crossed the road. Um, she would get to Route 5, which was now Lake Road, because they changed the name or whatever. <laughs> and she would turn right, and she would turn right again to get back to Fredonia, which she would probably go 20 miles to get to a seven-mile spot so she could go to church. And she did that. Always. And then there was another time that she was, she had turned out of the road. She went to Brockton, which is a right hand turn. And she crossed and she had to cross the road to go into Country Fair. And when she crossed into Country Fair, she drove over that little road curb, curb thing that they have there, cut in front of another lady whose grandchild was learning how to drive. It's a good thing the grandchild did not run into her. And the lady comes to my house complaining about my mom and says, we've got to get her off the road. And I says, well, we've been trying. We're waiting for the doctor's statement to say that she shouldn't be driving anymore. Well, she said, I know a police officer. Would you like him to come visit her? And I says, well, that might be a good idea. So this police officer comes knocking on the door and asks for my mom. My mom goes out. And he says, I understand you drive, you're still driving. She goes, oh yes, and I drive very careful. I go very slow, <laughs> it's, which is a problem. And he says, well, 
um, I might have to come back and give you a road test. Would that be okay? And she goes, oh, sure. So he was going to come back the next day to give a road test. Well, in the mail, finally, the letter came stating that she should give up her license. The doctor's office finally got it to the motor, motor vehicles, and they sent the letter stating that they wanted her to turn in her license within 30 days, otherwise she would be fined. So um, I said to her, I gave her the letter, I read it to her, and she says, oh, that darn policeman. And I says, well, I says, I have to bring your license. Well, she was not going to give it to me. And I said, do you want to go to jail? And of course, she didn't want to go to jail. And so she gave me her license, but she said, could I have my picture? We'll see if they'll give me my license back because I like that picture. And so I, when I brought her license into the motor vehicles, they just clipped the corner and I said, she'd really like to keep her picture. And she says, oh, she can do that, but she can't drive. And if she were to be stopped, they would know that she had lost her license because the corner had been clipped. So that's how they take your license away. They clip the corner. You don't actually lose the license. You get to keep your picture. If you like your picture, at least in New York, at, or at least at our motor, ve our motor vehicle office does that. I don't know, maybe someplace else they might do it different. I don't know. But anyways, that's the story today, I guess. And it all started because of the rosary. I thank you for saying prayers for little Jax. And um, for a little update, his grandma said that he was off the, he had the feeding tube removed. And he's drinking out of a bottle. His coloring is better, but he still has the oxygen. So as long as his condition doesn't worsen, I think he's he's going to be good, and he's with having the feeding tube removed and him drinking is a good sign, but he's still on the oxygen. So I thank all of you who kept him in your thoughts and prayers, and the family. I'm sure Ruby appreciates it too. So I will talk to you all again tomorrow about what I don't know, but I'll see you tomorrow. Alrighty, bye bye.